Yo, it's your boy Smoke back with another matter video. In today's matter video, we're going to go ahead and do a sim of Julio Jones on the Tennessee Titans. Now, it, the NFL world has been wondering for days now where Julio Jones is going to go, and he finally got traded to the Tennessee Titans. Honestly, AJ Brown and Derrick Henry, of how much they posted about Julio Jones, I'm not too shocked. As a Raiders fan, as a Raiders fan, it kind of hurts because I really wanted Julio Jones to team up with Derek Carr, but it didn't work out. So Julio Jones is now Titan, obviously. And AJ Brown and Derrick Henry could honestly get harassment charges uh, pressed on them of how much they post about Julio Jones. It was ridiculous. But they got Julio Jones for a second round pick next year and a fourth round pick, technically two years from now. But all right. Uh, in the first game with the Titans with Julio Jones, they win. They steamroll the Broncos, 35-14. to 14. Uh, Ryan Tannehill starts off the match, or the year, with five passing touchdowns at 273 yards and a rating of 122. Speaking of Ryan Tannehill, we uh, did a video of Ryan Tannehill testing how good he is actually and testing Ryan Tannehill, see how, he good, see how good he is without Derrick Henry and A.J. Brown and now Julio Jones. So, link in the description will be for that if you want to see how good Ryan Tannehill is actually. It's a pretty interesting video. I recommend you go watch it after this one. Uh, Derrick Henry with 71 yards right there. Uh, AJ Brown, uh, 9 receptions, 83 yards. Julio Jones, 4 receptions, 56 yards. AJ Brown got a touchdown. Jawano Smith got a touchdown. Cortland Sun got 42 yards. Julio Jones averaging 14 yards per reception, though, so they should give him the ball more often. I mean, this is Julio Jones we're talking about now. You got to give him the ball. Chester Rogers with three receiving touchdowns. Um, I don't even know who that is, but three receiving touchdowns for Chester Rogers. Um, and another thing, this is great for AJ Brown. This because AJ Brown will or AJ Brown will thrive off of Julio Jones being the number one. Um, okay, because AJ Brown was a one last year and put up good numbers. Imagine what he can do with being a two. All right. This is really good for A.J. Brown. All right, midway through the season, the Titans are not doing that great. They're 3-4, and four, second to last in the division. Hopefully, they can turn around. Let's go ahead and check the stats, though. Ryan Tannehill starting off with him, uh, 1,814 yards, 18 passing touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Ain't too bad at all. Receiving, let's go check Julio Jones, 400. 73 yards, three receiving touchdowns. Chester Rogers with four receiving touchdowns and four, uh, four receiving touchdowns of 401 yards. And Chester Rogers, I don't know, man. He's just doing really good. I don't know, man. I don't even know this guy, but all right. Juwano Smith, 341 yards, uh, and five touchdowns. AJ Brown all the way down there, kind of shocking, but he's still putting up good numbers. AJ Brown with 338 yards and four receiving touchdowns. Uh, Derrick Henry is actually kind of doing good receiving, even though he isn't receiving back with 124 yards and one receiving touchdown. All right, and now next to uh, to the end of the year, um, Tennessee Titans miss playoffs, seven to nine, uh, second to last in the division. That's pretty shocking. I thought they would have did amazing with Julio Jones, but. They didn't do that great. Ryan Tannehill with 41 passing touchdowns and 13 interceptions. Ryan Tannehill did pretty good. Uh, 4,100 yards passing. Derrick Henry, 1,000 yards and 12 rushing touchdowns. That's not bad by any means. I'm not calling that a bad year, but it's not a Derrick Henry year. Um, still really good, though. You can't blame him. But just saying Derrick Henry normally does better. Especially in Madden. But anyway, still a good year for Derrick Henry. Julio Jones, 1,000 uh, receiving yards, 5 passing touchdowns, or receiving touchdowns. But Julio is normally weird with touchdowns. He normally don't get too much. The Falcons never used him in the red zone a great amount. So he just normally isn't getting touchdowns. Chester Rogers with 8 receiving touchdowns and 182 yards. A.J. Brown with 11 receiving touchdowns and 70. 745 yards, so really good there for A.J. Brown. Um, all right, and then now we got to check how many times Ryan Tannehill got sacked because I don't really know why they're struggling too much. Oh, 42 times. Ryan Tannehill, I mean, getting sacked 42 times, and it's not that great. But I don't really know why we're sucking so much because our offense looks super high-powered, so it must be something with our defense. And then I want to 
went ahead and found this. Our defense is last in yards. We are third in points scored. Okay. And then we points allowed were last. Okay. So that's that's why we're sucking right there. Our defense is absolutely dead weight. You could put a bunch of pile rocks out there and it looks like they perform better. So our defense is pretty bad right now. Um but I'm gonna go ahead and sim another year with Julio Jones just to get another feel of it. Because I feel like just give them some bit of redemption because they deserve it. Um, and obviously, this is a big time move, so why not go another year? Um, Tennessee Titans uh, beat the Raiders in the first game in the next year. Ryan Tannehill with two passing touchdowns and 135 yards. Derek Carr, though, put up 405 yards. Uh, he also got two passing touchdowns. Ryan Tannehill did have a better rating, uh, and Derek Carr was sacked more. Derrick Henry, 183 yards and two rushing touchdowns. And Josh Jacobs with 34 yards and too much. And it looks like the Raiders have Najee Harris, so they must have traded for Najee, apparently. Uh, Henry Ruggs, 10 receptions, 116 yards. Josh Jacobs, uh, 62 yards receiving. Darren Waller, 60 yards receiving with a touchdown. A.J. Brown, 31 yards off of three receptions. Julio Jones, three receptions with 27 yards and a touchdown. Again, they're not giving the ball to Julio that much. All right, in the second game, they beat the Miami Dolphins, 35-14. to 14. That's pretty big clapping. And Tua Tangalevoa absolutely sucked in this match uh, with a 54 rating. Two passing touchdowns, which is solid, but three interceptions, which is definitely not solid. More more passing yards than Ryan Tannehill, though, but that rating is pretty bad. All right. Go ahead and check the rushing now. Uh, Derrick Henry, 132 yards of two rushing touchdowns, so that's pretty solid. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. It's more than solid, but 11 receptions for A.J. Brown, 105 yards and a touchdown. That would be a good fantasy day for him. Uh, Chester Rogers, two receiving touchdowns again. I don't know why he keeps on going off, but he does. And Julio Jones way down here. Put up a goose egg this game. Nothing. That's how much they're not utilizing Julio. I get... I just have a problem with Julio being a decoy, and that's what Madden's, Madden is making him do. Madden's making him be a full decoy. He can be way more than a decoy, okay? All right, midway through the season here, Ryan Tannehill, 17 passing touchdowns and one interception. That is absolutely amazing. Hopefully, he can keep that up. Receiving, A.J. Brown got five touchdowns, 422 yards. Chester Rogers, 388 yards. Chester Rogers going off again. Oh, some no-name. Jeez. Uh, who would have thought Chester Rogers would put up more receiving yards and touchdowns than Julio Jones? Julio Jones, though, three, passing, or three receiving touchdowns. And we actually went to the Super Bowl this year. All right, and we faced the Saints. We lost, obviously, as you can see in the score. Uh, Demario Davis was the Super Bowl MVP, but wow, we um, made the Super Bowl, so that's really good. Obviously, Titans fans are hoping something like that happens. Um, I personally don't see uh, the Titans winning a Super Bowl with Julio unless they prove that defense just a little bit. Got to make it at least the top 10 defense for sure. Um, Ryan Tannehill is a 27, 27 passing touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Derrick Henry, 1,174 yards, 12 receiving or 12 rushing touchdowns. Julio Jones, 4, four receiving touchdowns, 868 yards, uh, average 12 yards per reception. Chester Rogers doing really good. Chester Rogers with 854 yards. And, uh, 11 receiving touchdowns. A.J. Brown, 9 receiving touchdowns at 136 yards. Derrick Henry putting up a lot of good receiving numbers, even though Derrick Henry is not known as a receiving back. And Jawano Smith actually did pretty good, too. So that's, that's pretty scary um, uh, targets for Ryan Tannehill. I got to say, Ryan Tannehill better thrive this season uh, with all the weapons he's getting, all the weapons he has. Uh, has had and now he is getting Julio. That is just scary. The thought of having Julio Jones and Derrick Henry on the same team. You got to think: Is Julio coming back from an injury going to play like he once has before? I think he'll play somewhat like it. I think it is. I don't think he'll top one of his best years, but it's still Julio Jones we're talking about. This is an All Pro receiver. All right, guys, that's about the end of the video. Make sure you go ahead, leave a like, and subscribe. Click the link in the description. Check out the Ryan Tannehill video. Follow us on Instagram, Straight Smoke YT. 
Uh, we post updates about the channel on there. You know, sometimes we post games about uh, memes about games and all that stuff. So, straight smoke YT. Make sure to go check us out on Instagram. Check the link in the description. Bye.